Hi everyone, we're going to go over the unique function in Google Sheets in this video. And this is just one of a series of videos for sports scientists, strength and sport coaches for how to use Google Sheets effectively to get the most out of your data and make more informed decisions. Try to keep things simple but effective. So what we have on, our, on the left hand side here is we have dates, athletes, positions, and let's pretend like we have a basketball team. Their ratings of how they slept the night prior, their ratings of their recovery, and their ratings of how hard they felt they exercised. And what we'll notice here is that as we scroll down, this is a good way to organize the data, by the way. As we scroll down, we got lots of dates. Dates like 10, 10, 16 is repeated each time for each athlete, or a bunch of times, one time for each athlete. And the positions are repeated multiple times, and the athlete names are repeated multiple times. It looks ugly and it's hard to look at. Well, what if you just wanted to get a list of your athletes or a list of all the dates that you have or a list of all the positions? And these are very valuable things to do because then you can create drop down lists from them. You can use them in chart design. You can create summary tables from them and a lot of other really cool things that I'll go over in other videos. But let's start with unique because that's the function that we're learning about and that's how we do that. So we type in equals unique, open parenthesis, and all it needs is a range. Now what I like to do is I just click on the column that it's in. So I know that no matter what, if I add more data to the bottom of it, instead that it'll accommodate for that rather than selecting a specific range. And if I close the parenthesis and click enter, I get a unique list of athletes. But there's a problem. A minor problem. This is also a unique value. The word name um, in our column headers, well, we think of them as column headers, but Google Sheets doesn't know that. So it includes name, and we need we don't want name to show up in our list, list of athletes. So one thing that we can do is we can change it to a range. We can say B1 to B100, let's say, and click Enter. Oops, sorry. We can change B2 to B100, let's say, and click enter so we skip over name and now we have a unique list of our athletes the other thing that we could do and this is what i tend to do is include the function filter and i go over filter in in other videos but in this case i'll explain a little bit what it is so before unique or before we get into the unique stuff we say filter open parenthesis. And what filter does is it acts just like a table filter where you say, I want everything in this column, but I actually don't want this, that, or the other thing, or I just want Laquan James. You filter out the information that you're looking for within a wider range. So we want unique values from B to B, but we want to put a filter on it. And filter at first asks for a range, then it asks for a condition. Well, what don't you want or what do you want? So we have our range, which is B to B, all of our athlete names plus the column header. But what we don't want, the condition, is when B to B does not equal, and quote, name, and close that, and close that. So now we're saying we want a unique list of the names when it's when we want a unique list of column B when column when something in column B is not equal to name. And if I click enter, now there is no name. And another way to do this is instead of name, you may just say, I don't want it equal to B1, which is the column header name. And if we click enter, the same thing happens. It, it knows that the column header's name is name. So the reason why this is beneficial is because let's say that we do have name in quotes and I click enter. So we're filtering out something in column B that says name. Now what if I change this to player? Now the word player shows up here, but the player won't show up if I say I don't want it equal to whatever is in cell B1. So if I click enter, now player goes away and I can change this to name or hello, and it's just not gonna come in there. So let's change this back to name. And that that's really it. So what we can do is we can literally copy this function and paste it over. If I have positions here, 
if I put positions here and I put dates before it, but I'm not going to do that um, so that we can do it again, is that I can copy this, paste it here, and everything kind of carried over. So now we have a unique list of our positions and we don't even have to worry about the position header. And I'm not going to do the, the list of dates because that would just be doing the exact same thing that we did. But what I do want to show you how to do is make a drop down list from this. So what you might do is let's say that you wanted to pick an athlete and have a visualization or a chart drive off of that is you could select your list of athletes that are unique. And I typically go down really far like there so that I know that I'm accommodating for any potential number of athletes and this is where Google Sheets is a little bit different than Excel In Excel if you do that you'll get a lot of blanks in your drop-down in Google Sheets you do not and I will show you what happens so what we have to do is we have to go to data data validation and this is all fine we want list from a range and we can select our range here we could type it in or we can select it and I will select it I'll start with the first athlete and go all the way down. Let's say I know that I'm not going to have this many, 170 something athletes. So I'll click OK and I'll just click Save. And now if I go back up to the top here, we have a little drop down and we can select uh, my faces in the way. So let me scroll over. We have a drop down. Maybe I'll color it yellow so we can see it. And we can select from our list of athletes and maybe. I select an athlete and there's some data that corresponds to that athlete's name that and then if I pick another one that data changes to be for the other athlete you can do the same thing for position so I hope this video was helpful if you enjoy the content please give it a like click the bell subscribe so that YouTube knows that this is beneficial and then more people will see it and more people will benefit from it and I'd really appreciate it so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know.